Hey guys, I'm Rosalvain, and welcome back to another episode of Root Letter. Where we last left off was we basically uh, got all the appropriate items to finally get uh, the gal person to speak out on what she knows about Aya. Or, yeah, I will probably start calling her the gal character because I guess the witch sounds weird to me a little bit. I have to say the witch because it doesn't sound witch doesn't sound good on its own. Uh, and I don't want to say female dog, it's already a lengthy name for that, but it gets the meaning across of what the real word is for that. So I'd rather say gal, um, because it's much more appropriate. And and they use gal stationary as like the name of the, uh, the chapter, so anyways. Yeah, I also saved, so that was what I forgot at the end of the episode previously, but that's whatever. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to the gal character, which is... Uh, which is, uh, shoot, Rico. Rico Hanade? Han Han Haneda? When I arrived at the Usagi Children's Theatrical Company, the company members and their guardians have started going home. I wonder if Gal is still here. Oh, they are still here. Gal and Arisa were staying after the practice. Mata anata na no? This time, I'll get the truth from you. Mama, who? I don't know. I mean, you're not the one practicing. The daughter is. I'll use max mode here. Really? You have to use max mode here? That's so weird. What the heck is the fourth one, though? Yeah, I'm wondering what the fourth words are. Oh, oof, the saying of that. Oh, oh, that's so rude. <laughs> that's so rude just to call her the pinup girl Rico. <laughs> oh, oof, and she, her face immediately turns sour. Arisa, Mama wa kono oji san to hanashi naru no. Soto de matte ite. Doko ni mo ikanai de. Koko no mai ni iru no yo. Makes sense. Hai. Arisa leaves the practice studio. Investigation starto. That is. Bitch, to you, hito wa. Tori ga niyate nan desho. That is funny because it's like immediately when we got the chance to, we just literally have to ask her. <laughs> and then, can you change your hairstyle? <laughs> I. I understand hairstyles are like. It's funny because I grew up with a mother who like does a lot of hair. Like, uh, her job is to cut hair and everything hairstylist but like to me i see this hair it's kind of like it's best fit for a male i guess in a weird way but it's like for her she's like i mean i guess it makes sense to get rid of the bang and like not cover up her face in a way like she, i think her best features is her face that's why she does does this hairstyle but the two line edge is more like she's a delinquent kind of feeling like it has that feeling of delinquent hairstyle to it and it's like really weird to me that it kind of does match the idea that she is a gal before. So it makes sense she would keep that kind of delinquent hairstyle. But then she had the best hairs in like the other photos and everything. It's kind of the weirdest thing ever. I just don't get it. <laughs> this gal. Yeah, I already, I already. She already said what she said. Okay. I hadn't thought she might have overcome it. Okay. Then uh, would you admit to being the gal? Or being gal. It's a fact that you were in that class. The proof that gal was in that class is that whole pamphlet thingy, my bobber. Which is kind of weird that we're using this guidebook as the transcribed list. And your name was on this roster. I had four eyes show me your high school class roster. <laughs> <laughs> I love how she's like, God dang it, that guy. I bet she bullied that guy too, I bet. The name Rico Hana Haneda was there, plain as day. Rico Haneda was the hottest girl in your high school, wasn't she? Oh, oops, I must have cut. I, I messed up by cutting that out. Uh, she wanted to become an actress, and after graduating from high school, she joined the talent agency. I mean, you were a pop star, weren't you? What Gal did first in show business was... 
Uh, Squidle. You first tried becoming a pop star, didn't you? Your first stage name was Jodina Haneda. <laughs> I just love how surprised she is with that photo. There's a fanboy I know. Mind if I get your autograph first? <laughs> ma, 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 I mean, people were fans of you. If you... It's funny here too as well, like on my videos. It's like I feel like somebody who knows me and if I disappear one day, people will be like, I remember his videos. I, I, I really like them. Kind of thing. I don't think there is any fans. I don't believe. I don't believe in the the sight of that. I I, I feel like it's a facade, <laughs> in a weird way. Not not sorry, sorry, but at the same time. Anyways, uh, sorry, Gomen Gomene, a hardcore fan. <laughs> Semi messy, <a> hardcore fan. <laughs> Could you please autograph that? The owner asked me to <laughs> do that. <laughs> Well, I sure, well, I sure can't sign it. <laughs> this is the funniest. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. Is like during our investigation, we just let her sign this. Gal seems to be in a good mood as she signs the photo. Hmm. Then why rebrand? Popular. Hmm. Something's not right. Acquired signed photo. Let me see if that fills up that question mark area of the item. I am genuinely curious though. Oh, it does. Yeah, okay. Cool. Anyways, sorry, I was just getting distracted there. Do I have to ask? No. Uh. Think? Gal couldn't find an audience and started a new line of work. Okay, so we need to dis just just show her what she changed into after after the pop star thing. That can't be. Jolina Haneda didn't become famous, so she rebranded herself as Riko Masaki and became an enka singer. The CD is the proof. Sign, sir. Uh, do we? Nah, it's okay. And finally, as Riko, she posed in a swimsuit for a poster for Magatama Beer. Uh, which I had to show her the beer poster, I'm guessing. And this is the poster. <laughs> I just love how she just like panics about that. Then you'll tell me the truth, huh? Your uh, gal, right? If you don't talk, I'll take this poster to Arisa and. I don't want to, but if you don't talk, I just might. If you're going to be that stubborn, I should have gotten a hold of that magazine too. A, photo a photographer approached you at the Kiyomise shopping area and your picture was in Teen's Queen, right? What are you mad about? Your photo was in a magazine that high school girls love. Oh, because Aya took her spot, isn't it? Oh, I didn't know. Uh, gal seals her lips like a, like a clam. I actually came to a realization when I thought about it, but I think the reason why the Japanese people use the word, uh, the female dog word, is probably because I guess they might have thought that American audiences might not know what's Gyaru. I was, I was thinking about it, like, is it should we call her Gyaru instead of the female dog name? But I mean, the female dog name makes sense because it's like she acts kind of like narcissistic almost in a way, or like very like rude and like i don't know I, I feel like gyaru has a different sense because gyaru is like tan skin and likes to sleep around i guess in a sense like it's that stigma i guess that kind of stick i mean there's two types of gyaru there's like gyaru who's like they act upon having to sleep around a lot and are very like rude and delinquish delinquent ish but then the other side is that they're just 
a, it, it's a fashion trend where it's just about tan skin, blonde hair, uh, being a little bit gaudy, like very like uh, eccentric about their outfit and everything. That and, and that becomes more of a trendy style. So I'm just, I mean, it's not a good thing and it's not a bad thing either. It's just a neutral name to describe something. But I feel like they choose to to, to make the the name of hers the, this character. Um, as a female dog because they I guess it's because of the behavior I guess and American people call people that kind of, this kind of ladies that way because that's how the derogatory name comes off of that anyways sulking huh childish I'll apologize with I'll apologize with max mode really uh, I'm guessing is this one the weird one that that your photo didn't make it is definitely messed up <laughs> definitely a good looking girl like you not making the magazine there's definitely must have been something else going on it's funny because I think the reason why this happened was because Aya got in her way but she never she's not I mean the more we push this, the more it's going to make her reveal that Aya was getting in her way, and then she, it reveals that Aya existed. Maybe you were too cute, and someone just got jealous. That beauty and sexiness ended up backfiring. No, no, I'm, I'm serious. Says someone who's actually terrible at acting as well. I'll apologize with max mode. Again? Oh, it's just... I chose the wrong response, I guess. I need to do the fourth one. No, I just saw it. There we go. That was my fault. This was all my fault. Wait, that's... Oh, it's not actually the response we were looking for. This is bad. I've got to patch things up somehow. Then what is the response they want? Pardon me? <laughs> I don't know. I'm ashamed of myself. Okay, so she's saying the same thing. This is not the right way. Excuse me, I guess. I was rude. Okay, so it's technically the first response that we need to... I don't get why you have the other ones. Why? Why the other four responses? I mean, none, of, none of it makes sense. Go men aside. まあ、少しは嬉しかったけど、高校まではそこそこ可愛くてチヤホヤされたけど、女優になるほどじゃなかったのよ。And now she's depressed. How can I cheer her up? Do I have an inventory item for cheering her up? No, I don't think I do. Uh, maybe I might ask about the daughter, maybe? Does Arisa have any boys she has a crush on? Why did you go there? I don't get it. What? No! Uh, Rico, Rico is glaring with, at me with eyes like a snake. I'm not even trying to ask about the daughter that way. What the fudge? It seems that wasn't a good choice. Okay, I need to think it, I think. I need to think what the hell I need to do. I'll let her know about the fans she did. She had. Fans. Maybe this again? You were cute and that's a fact. You they were selling photos of you like this, and you even have fans who want your autographs. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, now she's being a little bit humble about how I is the one. I don't know. A classmate of yours wrote this letter. I take this letter. I took the letter out and hand it over to her. See for yourself. Gal reluctantly takes the letter and starts reading. Oh no, not again! I don't want to read this. I get it. I get it. I already we already went through this in prior episodes to this, previous episodes to this. Uh, Gal finishes reading Aya's letter. The harshness leaving the harshness leaves Gal and her face becomes kind. 
すごく可愛いって学校一の美人だって<笑> Those were, sincere, those were her sincere feelings. <laughs> huh? Eh? Oh, now she's gonna re remind us of what happened. Oh, they were just hanging out, too. Just a little bit. The s h i n o camera man is here, but. I mean, that is such a sad scene to see that. That、uh, things just turned upside down for her. Sorry, I'm just looking at the time. Anyways, you're a gal, right? So, yo. I just hate the fact that they call her this. It's, it's not a name you would ever call anybody, but okay. Investigation complete. Teens Queen, you saw Singa Noruto Motte. Gakko Daki Janaku, Kinjo Juni Shirasetawa. Mm-hmm. That's sad. Yeah, moving to Tokyo is gonna be difficult, I would say. But your photo, photo wasn't in it. Yeah, that was what, that's what I was thinking. It's like, why don't we just find this magazine then? Because if we can find this magazine, it, it's a hard, solid proof that she is uh from. Matsue Oba High School, at the time of their existence, of these, these folks that are pretending like she doesn't exist, which will ultimately dis just destroy all their freaking effort to try to hide the fact that they don't know her that well. Gao returns the letter to me. <clears throat> so, who is she? Why won't anybody answer me? Wait, why do I have to ask? Is Arisa. Arisa no Hanashiwa, Ima Shinakte Mui Janai. What? Yeah, this isn't about her. I love how this. Why, is, why give us this option? <laughs> That option's been sitting there for so long for some reason. I don't get it. Inventory. Uh, Gal might be trying to decide whether or not to tell me at a time like this. What should I do? Really? I can't pull out my inventory? I think. This is how it's going to be. We'll just have a battle of patience. I've got my time on my side. I wait patiently. Interesting. So she said old ladies. So I'm assuming this old lady was. Aya's mother. Because we know that Aya's mother was being mistreated by the father to some degree, I think, if I recalled it from way, way early on in the series. But. Okay, well, yeah, let's hear her out. I guess. Wait, what? Someone was pretending to be Aya? Who? Oh, the mom. Oh, that would be weird. It, it might be either the mom or a sister, like a twin sister kind of thing. Like her younger sister sort of thing. Oh, so she finally exposed who the hell the bestie is? Nishino? Bestie is called Nishino? 
。どうして十五年も前のことで、私たちは苦しめられなきゃならないの。yeah that's true。they should have not pulled everyone in and leave it down to just the bestie and whoever was actually genuinely like。Really hardcore dedicated to、uh, helping Aya, but like, what the hell, dude? Why? Yeah, why drag these people when they're not really interested to begin with about Aya? As you know, like, they're not like great friends with Aya, they're just people who knew her and was like willing to accompany her, you know? Gal looks distressed, but I can't get up,、uh, I can't get caught up in sympathy right now. All right, anyways, uh. Trying to think what we need to do. Maybe ask? No. Think? Oh, Pen Pal existed. <clears throat> so we need to show her the letters. Really? No? Oh. I don't. This? No? What am I, what am I supposed to show in general? I don't think this is anything to do with. I know, I know. Yeah, I just wanted to do that. My pen pal.、Uh, yeah, I just. Oh, maybe this. I show her the picture. Who is this? Who's my pen pal then? So, I'm going to show you the picture. I'm going to show you the picture. I'm going to show you the picture. That doesn't help at all. Don't lie, you just said she was acting the part. Someone was pretending to be Aya, right? Uh, oh, oops, I, she had more to say. I didn't realize. Ghosts and UFOs, and now legends. Oh, come on. Arisa comes over. Mama, I'm not sure. Yeah, she might have. We might have been talking for 30 minutes or something like that. Wait, hey. Uh, okay, I guess. Gal takes a Risa and leaves. Gal said it wasn't her photo. Said it wasn't her photo that, she, that they printed in the magazine, it was Aya's. If I get in touch with the publishing company, they might be able to sell me, back the, sell me the back issue. Oh. I looked up the publishing company and called them. Called them. I called the publishing company and ordered the issue of Teen's Queen from 15 years ago, so that's something I'm going to wind up owning, I guess. Oh, right. I should go return these. I head up. I head for the UFO research lab and Kamiyadi on. I want to see what the reaction for the、uh, dude is for the research lab. Morita was really happy when I handed him the autographed photo. Ja, I gave back the stuff I borrowed now. Back to the inn, I guess. Alright. I came back to the inn. Haruka comes over. Okaidi na sai. Still no luck. It seems her classmates have a secret. So, Renara, Hanashi Kurel Kamoshirenai Wayo? Why do you say that? Himits te Nimots me taina mono yo? Motte il to don don omotakunar. Dareka ni Hanashi te Karukustai mono yo. To some degree, I agree with that. Secrets are meant to be told. But at the same time, depending on what the. Con like, yeah, I guess some secrets contextually depends on what kind of secret they are. They are sort of like holding a heavy burden of being told, like being asked about it. But obviously, not all of them are the same. Not all secrets are the same. Some secrets are actually meant to be kept until the grave, kind of thing. So it's like, who knows, you know, contextually what it is. Do you think so? When I return, I find that my room has been broken into. What? <laughs> hmm? What the? My belongings are next to the table. It doesn't look like anything was stolen. 
Who did this? I'm pissed off now. If this is how it's going to be, I'm going to get to the bottom of this mystery no matter what. Crap. Who's doing this? Uh, maybe check around, I guess? The closet must be futons. Cold wind is blowing in. The, that's why the window is closed. Jess's right size for writing memos. Okay, so there's nothing to really do here, right? I think. I'm so mad. I think I'm gonna go get a drink. <laughs> okay, I guess. Oh, I have to go back to the, the bar, I guess. Wait, why would you go back to the bar if you're... If you've been broken into, I don't get it. Why would why would that why would that be your first thing to do? You should just take a drink at the vending machine at the inn, right? <laughs> Anyways, when I get to the Nakamura bar, the bartender is arguing with a young couple out front. The bartender puts the closed sign in on the door and goes back inside. Who's this? Something happened. What do you think of the bar? Oh, might be that the bartender is in a bad mood because of the thing that happened. Like, she told me too much information. Oh. I've been there. It was right in front of me. <laughs> Alright, let's ask about the yeah, outcome of the fight. The bartender was acting weird. What happened? That's rude. Yeah, because her name is probably actual I actually Aya. <laughs> That's so sad. Aya, the bar reacted to that name. Uh then I should just probably go in there, I guess, right? What the heck happened here? Wait, do I have to check? Peering into the shop, I see the bartender at the counter, cradling his head. Looks like something's going on. The couple leaves. I step into the bar. I ignore the closed sign and step inside the bar. Come on, just one drink. Don't be so cold. Wow, don't be so cold, man. It's so cold outside. Time to hit the nail where the head is at. Oi. I'd better leave before... <laughs> I'd better leave him alone for now. Really? I have to move, really? He seems pretty agitated. Now's my chance to look around. Really? Why would I look around at this tense? The small dust of alcohol here... There's a coaster on the counter. Someone has jotted down 153501. I picked up the coaster. Fine. Don't get mad. I take the coaster that says 153501 with me. Maybe I should take it there. Maybe I should take it there. What do you mean by that question? I wonder. I leave the bar. The bartender is acting weird. I took the coaster without asking, though. It might come in handy. Well, I'll start heading back to my room. Alright, cool. Um, I didn't want to push it too far at this point. I was kind of looking at it. I was like, should I just stop here or not? Like, I was just kind of worried that I might not stop at the right timing. But anyways, I think the next chapter uh, is coming right around the corner. Literally, when we get back to our room, I think that's when the chapter ends, probably. Judging from how it looks like. <clears throat> well, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode of Nobody Minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We and I to one of watching this. In the next episode, let's go ahead and figure out who we're talking to next. Because I believe we have the next chapter lining up. So that would be chapter 6. And that will be another person in the stationary, the list of stationaries that we have. I'm still kind of confused on who the hell Aya Fumino is like who she is currently like it's just confusing me more and more is she sort of like a real ghost is she sort of like some somebody's double like a double ganger of hers kind of thing like they're just like dressed like her and acts like her but they're just like they're sort of like a uh, a facade of some sort i guess of the the past i guess like a natural person facade or she maybe she's the mother like the mother didn't grow at all 
but she missed her daughter so much that she wanted to go back to that school as her, um, with the same name and everything. Maybe. I mean, it could be the mom, literally, with the same name, because we never know the mom's full name, so it could be Aya Firmino with the mother, senior and junior. Like, they both have the same name, um, and that would be really interesting and crazy, but at the same time, we will never know until we get to that point, I guess. Um... But yeah, there's a lot of theories in my head still, but there's still it's still hard to pinpoint what the hell is going on. Uh, I feel like it's such a mess that it's like it's hard to really pinpoint what's gonna really come down to it, uh, because this is all dependent on how they write the story. But whatever outcome they choose is what they choose. Otherwise, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, otherwise, hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can nice everyone watching this, and or in other, or if you guys are checking out my other videos. Uh, see you guys there as well um, but otherwise that's pretty much it for this episode so Roz out